What a beautiful day here in New Mexico. I am in the Cibola National Forest out here in the South Canyons. And in case you're wondering where that's at, I'll leave some coordinates in the description box below. You can take a look at uh, Google Earth and you know have an idea of where I'm at. It's also north of Abu Ruin. You know, this is a section of forest that's actually open during the winter time. If you're a resident here in New Mexico, you know the Forest Service tends to close gates during the winter months. So yeah, if you want to get your fix, this is an access point for you. But there's a lot of connecting trails in and around this area. Some take you through canyons and some take you up on a little bit of a mesa or plateau, whatever you want to call it. But they all lead into beautiful areas out here. But I love winter camping, man. It feels good to get out here and, you know, just uh, enjoy yourself. And not only that, just, you know, test your, uh, your skills out here, man. Nice. Where is this going? I'm going to take a look real quick and see if I can even make it through there, man. Because all I need to do is, you know, get into that, not see how sure of a little drop off it is and roll it so let me get down there and have a look and see how to approach this i might have to figure out a way to kind of go up high and maybe come down but then even further down it looks uh pretty sketchy so let's have a look first it's pretty slanted right here and it's all full of rock you know I'm by myself and play it smart you know be able to keep on with your adventure instead of turning it into a somewhat of a, a self-rescue mode this is a look down into uh, this really washed out area and it keeps going down and around the corner over there and it is really nasty about a hundred feet in front of me all right guys I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hug that tree hopefully my tail end doesn't slip into there and if it does I'd rather go into it backwards so I can winch out up that way and if I go into it forward at least I could winch out go up and over the rocks you know I could be uh, partially over exaggerating this but this is a deep deep rut so I definitely don't want to uh, get into that let's see here yeah this is a uh, for the next uh, I don't know 15 20 feet that's the danger zone oh yeah she's sliding just a little bit not bad not bad all right yeah here's the start of that other nasty deep rut I'm gonna hug this side Oh man, I'll tell you what, thankfully this stuff did get blown over with snow drifts. Can you imagine coming down through here not even seeing that? Dude, that's going to wreck your day big time, man. You probably would not get out of that. Uh, not that easy at least, so good stuff I got through here. Hopefully the next section, because I'm dropping down in a canyon, I'm going to camp down there. Uh, you know, there's no uh, tricky sections no more, so glad to be out of that one. I'm sure by now you guys are asking where the uh, Can-Am Outlander is, and it's in the shop after my last ride to go check out that farm homestead in the desert. Got back and, you know, doing a post inspection on the uh, trip. I observed a little bit of a leak coming out of the water pump so took that down to my local dealer so that way they could go ahead and uh, repair that. The Can-Am still is under warranty so yep Can-Am should cover that. I've had a good machine so far. I can't complain. Uh, it's well over a thousand miles um, so yeah that's uh, what's going on with, with the Can-Am. 
looking forward to getting that ATV back, but it's good to turn the wheels on uh, the Polaris. Yeah, I like that Can-Am for whatever reason, man. Yeah, coming down off the uh, last steep spot, I hope there is nothing uh, too tricky or challenging. Incredible, wow, man. Just beautiful. Yep, this is what uh, getting into the backcountry is all about. You find yourself in uh, some remote places like this. You know, you're breaking trail, nobody's come through here. And it's just remarkable, man. You know, I hope you guys enjoy getting out there and camping and just doing something for yourself as much as I do. It's just, uh, you know, a great way to, to live life and a great way just to come out and experience something. You know, winter only comes once a year, so get out there and try some winter camping if you've never done it. Man, what a different zone down here. Holy crap. This is really flipping cool, man. It's like a little bit of a rock cliff over there. Not, not a big one, but you could tell there's got to be water that runs through here. Oh, man, this is another dicey area. Son of a gun. I'm gonna park right here, get down and have a look because my concern is there's some steps coming off of this rock and I don't need to uh, get it wrong and end up tipping the nose. Those are some good steps, they're doable. But I'm just concerned, where are the ruts, man? All right, so I navigated the steps. That was uh, a little spooky. I'm gonna cut it right here because there was a little bit of something right over there. Straighten out. All right, I'm gonna gun it across this. So there it is right there. If you're not familiar with the term steps, you can see them. You got about a foot and a half off that rock, another foot right there off that rock, and then a six incher right up there that's what you call steps in the west man you know if you go up to like colorado and you do trails up there there's sections that it comes off steep and you got to crawl down little steps like this now of course uh you know this is nothing too technical still requires a little bit of skill to get through here because uh you're on an atv so your wheelbase is a little different uh, than being like in a Jeep or something like that, but yeah, these are these are steps man. They could be dangerous if you don't approach them right so yep I am pretty god dang steep. I'll tell you that <laughs> You know what? It's steep. Camera doesn't even do this justice. I'm going to go ahead and winch up just to be on the safe side through here, guys. There's, a, there's no risk uh, involved with that. 
uh, minimal at least but when you're by yourself man play it smart you know this is a pretty good little drop off and I definitely don't want to misjudge this and end up toppling back over as I crawl up some of these steps let's get this winch uh, attached Man, guys, what a crazy little section from up there coming off that uh, ridge up there down through this little canyon that was rutted out, rocky, had steps on both sides, and yeah, decided to uh, winch instead of uh, getting myself in a bad situation. That is a pretty deep drop off right there with those steps. So, out of this, and man lost some time i gotta find camp and get situated You know, I did the uh, weather check on this particular area in the morning before I left. It was minus three up here, and there was uh, about a 10 mile an hour wind. And so it was about minus 15 in this general area uh, this morning. So I expect that that's gonna be the case tomorrow. So yeah, it's gonna be good to have a hot tent and uh, sleeping in a warm sleeping bag, that's for sure. But yeah, I got some uh, jalapeno poppers cooking on the campfire. I'm going to throw on a T-bone steak. Of course, it's dark, but that's all right. That's just uh, part of being in the backcountry. You know, you don't have access to a table, chairs, uh, lights, and things like that. You know, it's all good. I like this uh, type of lifestyle. You know, when you're out here doing this stuff, it really makes me appreciate everything that we have at home. You know, it's one of those things that no matter how uh, rich or poor you are, never take those things for granted, guys. It's just a blessing to have those things at home. But man, I'm hungry, tell you what. Oh yeah, those jalapeno poppers are cooking great. Let's get this T-bone steak up on the grill here. Oh yeah, looking forward to that. I'm hungry.
All right, guys, this T-bone is ready, and so are those poppers. Let's do it. Take that before the wind takes it. Oh yeah, look at that guys. That's awesome. Tell you what guys, this T-bone is cooked perfect. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is so delicious. Cannot believe how awesome this is, man. I am super hungry. I know I keep saying that, but wow. I haven't had anything since breakfast. I, uh, you know, when I got that winch job going on over there, you know, my immediate thought was, hey, I'm gonna get to camp and get things going. So yeah, this is, this is such a treat. Mm. Mm -mm. Man. Good morning guys. I slept really good, not gonna lie. Had my two sleeping bags. I slept nice and toasty. Had the campfire going on for a little while. Then I just let it die out and I just enjoyed myself in here, man. Yeah, once that fire goes out, you know, like any other tent, it tends to get cold pretty quick, but that's where those uh, sleeping bags come into play. And, you know, I slept really good having the two of them. And then uh, in here, check this out, it is, 59 degrees i got my uh my thermometer out here it didn't get down below zero although with wind chill it was definitely zero degrees last night it was really really cold all my uh, water supplies froze up pretty solid but uh, i always put water in a pan so that way you could start the morning with water uh in the event that everything freezes up so Yep, we got some water going for some coffee. I got a breakfast burrito on the stove and oh yeah, I'm hungry and I'm looking forward to that first cup of coffee, guys. 
All is good up here, man. Still in the teens outside, but it hardly feels like that when you're inside this hot tent. The uh, highest temperature I registered is 72 degrees. That's a 50 degree difference between in here and what's going on out there. So hard to just put that together, you know. It just feels absolutely great in here. But man, there's just something about a cup of coffee that I enjoy being out in the mountains like this, you know. It just tastes better when you're up here. You know, you can't replicate this taste at home and it's just a good one, man. Oh, that is so nice and warm. That just oh, hits the spot. Man, I've been enjoying this breakfast burrito and it's delicious. It's bacon, egg, cheese, and then I'm topping it with a little bit of uh, some tapatio hot sauce. That stuff is absolutely delicious. It gives it a nice kick. It's a pretty hot, hot sauce, man. Mmm. Muy bueno, man. Oh. That coffee's hot, but it's excellent. Yeah, I'm going to break down camp here in a little bit. It's windy outside, and so, man, it's probably around zero degrees, but, geez, don't even feel like it. You know, it's, it's warm in here. So I imagine when uh, I get to breaking down, it's going to be cold. <laughs> Got to enjoy this while I can. Heck yeah, man. Good stuff up here, guys. All right, guys. Camp is all broke down. I'm going to go ahead and split. Check that out. We got some cloudy skies. I don't know if it's fog or maybe uh, some flurries are going to develop up here. Uh, it's hard to tell when you're tucked into the mountains like this. But what was sunny this morning... Boom, just changed, it's quick. Happens like that up here in the, the mountains, but man, I'll tell you what, it's really dropping the temperatures up here uh, pretty good, but I don't know, it could be fog rolling off the uh, the higher elevation, which is off that way. All that's above uh, 9,000 feet up there in the high country, and so sometimes that fog builds and then it uh, rolls down into the lower points, and I'm about 6,800 feet, so uh, who knows what's going on out there, but for some reason it's definitely clouding up and it's really cold. That wind is here and wow, it's got to feel like zero still. Woo! It was teens until that cloud cover came in. <laughs> but I'm out of here guys, let's roll. Yeah, I made it far enough out now. That's where I came yesterday, man. That was a gnarly finish to that trail. But I came far enough out now that uh, starting to see, you know, signs of people who at least come up to this point. But the way I roll is I like to get pretty deep into the back country and, you know, just get myself really 
in a beautiful primitive position. Awesome. Nice windmill over there. If you like what you see guys, you know, I encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel. It really helps out. Leave a comment. It really helps with the uh, YouTube algorithm. And I appreciate you guys watching as always. And until the next one, guys, you guys take care of yourselves. I'm out.